This is part six of my pandemic investing series and what I want to talk about is uh, long-term investing, dividend investing. And as always, this is for information and entertainment. It is not meant as investing advice. The um, Most people who gain wealth from the stock market do so over a very long period of time, either investing in mutual funds or investing in stocks that pay out not just an appreciation of the stock value, but also based upon dividend yields. And many people will do dividend reinvestment. And if you've got 20 or 30 years, that's not a bad deal. But you should look at dividends. You should try to pick up stocks that not only increase in value, but also have an increased dividend yield that pays you back that you can reinvest in. So, you know, one of the examples I'm going to give you about dangers of long-term investing, buy and hold strategy. Buy and hold doesn't necessarily work in the 21st century. Uh, let's take Ford Motor Company, for example. Back in 08 and 09, it went to $1. It was a very speculative stock, stock, and rightfully so. It was looking for government handouts. And uh, so you bought stock below, you know, below $2 a share. You have dollar cost average in at $1.50, buck $1.75. You had something that was going to pay substantial dividends. The stock went up to about $18 a share after that, and then has dropped down now to, I think, let me take a quick look. I think it's 4 bucks, a little over 4 bucks a share. Um, the dividend yield right now shows 13.86%. Uh, when I bought into it back in 08 and 09, I had a dividend yield where the stock paid itself off every third year. You know, three years and I had my entire investment back. Um, now, hindsight, I should have sold when it was $18 a share, but those dividend yields kept paying. Will it continue to do that? I don't know. But looking at dividend, is very important, but you must recognize that the dividends are historic dividends. Right now at $4.33, that's a 13.86% dividend. But that means absolutely nothing because Ford has suspended payment of dividends to try to make it through this recession. And uh, so you, you need to look at the earnings history, the payment history, and what, what the business is going to be like in the future. Will there be money in this company to pay dividends in the future, the near future, the long future? Dividend is an excellent starting point in investing in stocks. You want to get dividend stocks, ones that pay regularly. And now during a pandemic, you want to get them at those bargain basement prices. But with investing, it's the long term. It's the payout five years from now, 10 years from now that really counts. But you have to watch the stocks. You have to make that decision. Is today time to sell? Is it at its peak and the dividends aren't going to be the best part of the profit in, in that particular stock? Think long term. Think dividends. Do your research. Invest wisely. Sell when you think they've reached their peak. Good luck in your investing. And as always, this is for entertainment and Education information is not investment advice. Good, goodbye.